I designed and draw this pattern here for a dress and I need this one to stand on polyester as I'm going to transfer it to polyester fabric and then I am just making sure that everything else is standing correct and I'm just printing this out on my sublimation paper with my sublimation printer. I heated up my heat press and placed the polyester fabric in it and then the picture that I printed on my sublimation printer I placed that on top of the fabric with the um, printing downwards then I have this uh, foam thing that I'm placing on top of it to protect my heat press and I'm just going to press that together for 120 seconds There are two patterns on my print file and I am going to sew the green right here together with you. You can cut the pattern out in other kinds of fabric and then sew this little dress in that instead. That will work out pretty fine also. I cut out the pieces with some seam allowance but here in the neckline I am going to cut it direct until the fabric I also do that at the end or the bottom of the dress and the bottom of the sleeves because this uh, polyester fabric here is um, able to be kind of um, melted or burned or something. I don't know how to say that on the edges. So I'm going to do that on these, all of these. So first of all, I am going to take my tea light and I'm going to turn that on. So I'm doing this with my fabric because it's 100% polyester, so it kind of melts on the edge. I'm not touching the flame, I'm just keeping it over the flame, making sure it's not burning it, but just melting the uh, smallest part of the edge here. If you are a kid, please get your uh, parents to do this for you because this is definitely not uh, a kid's job. It can be done with a fabric glue instead if that's uh, better for you. I am going to sew the two uh, shoulder pieces here together, first in one side and then in the other side. I start with sewing around this corner a few times before I continue with a back stitch down the side here. And when I reach the other end I am sewing around the fabric again a few times to close it off before I cut off the thread. And then I'm just sewing the other uh, shoulder seam together after that. So I did that and now I'm just going to place the good side to the good side and sew the sleeve in place. If you did not burn your fabric like I did, you have to make the seam at the end of the sleeve. Just fold it up and then sew straight across before you're sewing the sleeve on here. Uh, this way it will look nice and neat, but because I burned it, I can just uh, do this step now. 
and I'm using the back stitch again all the way across here always starting and ending with a few uh, stitches around the corner where I start and end I sewed the other sleeve on exact same way as the first one so now it's nice looking and I am just putting good side to good side here so I'm starting from the tip of the arm here sewing a few times around there and then just sewing all the way down to the bottom of the dress So I got the first side here all sewn together. If you didn't burn your fabric like I did, you have to sew the uh, bottom seam around here, the skirt, just like I did on this one. Otherwise uh, it will fray and look stupid. So just fold it up and then sew across like that. Um, I don't have to do that so I can go straight ahead and sew together this other seam down the side here of the dress and get it all done. So I will do that really quick and then I will be back. So here is the done result. I think it's very pretty. As I burned the edge around the neckline I don't have to do anything about it. I glued on a ribbon on this white one. And I actually just sewn it in a piece of red fabric just to show you that the pattern can be used in any kind of fabric if you want to. So yesterday we made this sewing mannequin and I'm just placing the dress on this mannequin. And I found a tiny bit of a ribbon that I liked the color on and I'm just gonna tie that around the waist of the dress just to keep everything nice and good looking on this dress it needs this little belt thing so I'm just going to uh, make two knots here to make sure it's not gonna uh, unravel and I cut the ribbon in the length that I like them to be you can use a tiny bit of uh, fabric glue to keep them in place if you want to but that's all there is for this craft today you will find the print file in the info box below. I will leave a link for it there. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.